Hey guys, so I am going to be filming a February Valentine's Day tutorial, but I am going to do a foundation routine um, prior to, so I figured I would film my updated foundation routine while I filmed, um, or before I filmed my eyeshadow tutorial, which I will link in the bottom bar when I am done. So, um, I've actually changed a lot since um, I think I updated, but I always start with a... Um, clean face of course a slight moisturizer which I use just a uh, Pond's cream or um, the Nutri the Clinique um, yellow bottle it's in my bathroom so anyways the first thing after that I start with is my Laura Geller um, tinted under makeup primer in bronze and this was introduced to me by Birchbox which I really do like um, if nothing else, I do really kind of feel like it does let my makeup stay on longer. And I apply it with my hands, guys, because I just don't think that there's a more productive way to apply it. So, that is that. And just, you know, you want to apply it to your entire face and kind of, you know, make sure you work it in, um, in all your different creases. Now, the one thing I will say is that I just recently switched to a new foundation and I'm still kind of toying with it to see if I really like it, but normally I um, CoverGirl Nature Lux and I use 310 or 320 um, and that's what I would normally use, um, but I just bought and picked up the Maybelline, the Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam because I just wanted to try it. It seems like a really unique kind of interesting take on um, foundation. So I just wanted to try it and see if it actually gave me kind of the desired effect, which I really feel like it does. So um, what you do is you shake it up kind of like a spray paint bottle. And then I just apply it on a little, um, this is actually the top of my powder foundation. And I use my beauty blender and I go ahead and apply this all over the face. I would say that this gives you a medium coverage. Um, if you go over it twice, um, it does give you a better coverage, which right now, because I'm breaking out like crazy, I will probably do. So I just apply this um, all over the face, and don't worry if it looks creasy because we will blend it out eventually. So. The one thing I will say is that I've only bought this um, let's see, this weekend, so it's only been a couple days um, since I've used it, and I feel like you use a lot of product, but honestly, it doesn't feel like anything's going down, like it doesn't feel like it's um, running out, so because it foams, it may just seem like you're using a lot and you're really not. I'm not really sure, to be honest, how much I've used so far, which is... Another kind of, I guess, um, qualm I have with it, because um, I feel like even with the Nature Lux, you have that little window so you can see kind of when you're running low, and I guess you would fill the overall weight, but it's just kind of nice to be able to prepare because you don't know, you know, what your week's going to have in store, if you're going to be able to get to the store in order to buy a backup, which is why smart people would buy too so anyways it's okay um, I'm still kind of getting used to it and I think that I may go back um, but I do like the overall finish this gives me I feel like it's a little bit more um, like an airbrushed effect and all I'm doing now is taking this is my Sigma dual fiber and an F50 is what this is and I just kind of go over that just to make sure that um, I haven't left any creases which Usually with the beauty blender, I don't feel like I do, but I don't know. I just, it makes me feel better. And then my current concealer is actually this um, Maybelline Fit in 15 Fair. I don't know if you guys can see that. 15 Fair. Focus. Thank you. And um, I like this a lot better than the old um, CoverGirl one I was using just because I feel like this is um, a bit creamier, I guess. And um, I just feel like it lasts longer. 
and it has just kind of a better coverage in general so as you can tell I feel like I'm really breaking out and yeah so then I take the bottom part of my beauty blender and I just go around and kind of blend in where I have put the concealer honestly guys I don't feel like I have an exact science with it I just know what I do every morning and um, there's nothing that's going you can watch as many tutorials about doing foundation as you want but I really kind of feel like you're not going to learn by watching someone else do foundation um, I think it's good because I think I've picked up a lot of like tips or hints things to try but you're not going to know how to um, apply your own foundation until you try it until you get the products that you like um, and then you have to play with those products in order to get them you know to where you want them to be because everybody's skin just reacts so differently to things and that you know I just feel like uh, there's just no right or wrong way to really do it um, your, it's just your own personal preference, I think. So, um, to finish off my foundation, I'm actually going to go over with my Clinique Invisible in 20 and my Kabuki brush. And I'm just going to apply this all over. And the neat thing about this foundation, which I have mentioned before, is um, this powder is invisible. It doesn't... Ha um, it's like a sheer veil so it doesn't add color or um, weight to your makeup as a lot of others do um, and so this is why you know I've gone through four of these because I love